Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Friday, the 31st of Jan 2020. So, stocks panic bid, bonds dumped after World Health Organization doublespeak over global pandemic. So, uh, yeah, interesting uh, evening for the Dow. Uh, bonds, the yield between three month and 10 year at zero, and uh, the uh, Sensationalism has started with the coronavirus. So let's see what the market uh, reaction was to this uh, yesterday. So we'll start off with the uh, daily chart. Uh, let's just get rid of a few things here. And we can see that uh, the market had been pushed down to the target that we had of 2845. 40, uh, and uh, also uh, the volume is massive as prices uh, were brought back. But looking uh, weak on the overnight as the 20 bar moving average is a bit of a ceiling for this uh, market. So uh, overnight while we're here you can see uh, prices are sort of finding a bit of support. There at the moment they're above the DP and the 200 MA. They need to remain above there otherwise uh, heading south. Uh, yesterday uh, you can see that uh, we started off with buying coming into the market. Uh, the Prices uh, tried to move higher, but then they were sent to south straight through the 200 MA, found some support and then came back. So we can immediately see here that uh, from this high to uh, this low, we stayed at 76%. And then if we go from uh, this low to this high, you'll see 76% there as well as the market then found support and then headed back through you can see the buying there through the 200 MA and uh, then they were just working their way back for a 76% uh, retracement. I'll just move this over so that uh, you can see this from this low. I'll just remove this one from this low to this high. I'll just reselect it. I'll get there in a minute. Uh, from there to there, see bang on 76%. The WHO come out making a, a statement about a global pandemic and uh, of course uh, the Fed then step in to support the stock market stop it from uh, moving lower you can see it uh, rallied all the way up 100 points on the news uh, came back to the lows and could have quite easily have uh, done this but no we can't have that we've got to keep the market on the high and prices uh, rallied to the upside there the implied volatility responded by moving down to 13.55 with prices below the 20 bar moving average and uh, again remaining red. So it's still looking uh, weak. They're doing the best to keep this market uh, on the highs at the moment. And the uh, three month 10 year yield uh, curve is down at zero. So from uh, 39, we're now down at zero, heading back to uh, an inversion if uh, this continues. Uh, meanwhile, in uh, Bitcoin, yesterday the market uh, moving up in response to uh, the WHO um, down overnight, which you would expect. Not a lot of activity during the day, it's just that one event that makes it look as if there was a lot of uh, volatility when uh, really there wasn't, as you'll see here in the daily chart so we could barely manage a hundred dollars and then it was really quiet uh, through here and then less than fifty dollars uh, then bit of news there a hundred dollar range here we're looking at fifteen dollar bars which is just pointless and then we get the who news and then again in response they bring the market back to the upside and this is going to be a theme going forward if the coronavirus uh, pandemic as they're now calling it continues or contagion we'll just have to wait and see it's also a brexit day today i don't know how this is going to impact the market probably more so the dax this morning than uh, the dow um, we'll see but we don't leave until uh, 11 p.m gmt so uh, it'll probably be monday before this catches up with the markets and the reality that we've actually left but we'll have to wait and see but keep that one in mind as well uh, during today. Uh, no other news that I don't think today. I don't think there's any news, not major anyway, no no high impact news items. Uh, we don't need them anymore. The, the market ignores them anyway, unless they just uh, have a quiet day and want to use it. Otherwise it's Trump tweets and uh, coronavirus at the moment. 
Okay, that's it uh, for this one and for this month and for this week. So uh, let's see what February brings uh, on Monday. As ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.